Good morning, everybody. Welcome to IR Photos. <laughs> Wednesday today and we have one week to go before Christmas Day. Lovely old job. And this morning we've got a little bit something special for you this morning. We're going to try five hacks today and we've got our buddy, best buddy here. Morning. Richard. Hello Richard. Happy Christmas. That's a very nice hat you've got on there. Thank you. Do you like it? Yes. So we've got a lovely little cap here haven't we? Little cap? Yeah it's awesome. Now these are really cheap, these, these, these are very colourful these ones, these are like £5 from Amazon. And what we're going to use it for, it's not just a hat, but we're going to show you on the field, in the field, what this does. We're going to go through five, so that's one, okay, and we're going to show you what that does later on in the field. Now we're going to go to uh, K-Store on C this morning, thank you Richard. Bizarre reason I was forgot. We're gonna do the zigzag. We're gonna do zigzags. So just like that one behind us. So that one behind us, and that was taken at Castor on Sea. But unless you want to focus your Photoshop the wind turbine down, leave them in, they're part of the scenery. So and actually uh, they add to it. So you know you can see there you've got lovely leading lines into the into the uh, wind turbines. Lovely old drop. So that's what we're gonna try and achieve this morning. But more importantly, not only are we going to do these five hacks, but we're also going to talk about focus peaking on the Canon EOS R. Focus peaking in landscape photography. You'll be focusing from front to back and getting the whole shot in. Focus peaking is about um, selective focusing as well and focusing on one point of your scenery. You know by choosing focus peaking it's going to be focused on that point. Focus peaking, for those that don't know about it, it is in the menu and it's in right here on this menu. So the focus peaking is there and what you do, you can choose your colours as so and you can basically choose the colour you want for the scene you, you've got in front of you. Now I've chosen yellow for this morning, um, mainly because it's the brightest one there and you can clearly see where it's being focused. So we're going to, we're going to really emphasise on focus peaking this morning, as well as these five hacks. So now this is the second hack. Paper, plain white paper. What have we got that in the kit bag for? You may ask. Shop got in. Shop list. Could be. What else could it be? Could be part of a bill that you don't want to pay. Or toilet paper if you get caught short again. Toilet paper. That's actually a very good one. <laughs> but you need a bit bigger than that, I wonder. <laughs> what it's for, Richard? It was peaking. No. It's for flash. Ah. Ah. Saviour of the universe. Lovely old job. So what you do is put this as a diffuser in front of any camera. Any camera. If you've got a if you haven't got a diffuser, these are brilliant for, for a diffuser. And what it does is just warms the, the, the that harsh light that you get from a front-facing flash. Try it. Try it. It's brilliant. How it's, would you attach it then? You don't. You just put it in front of. Okay. Put it in front. Take the picture. The flash will hit that. Bounce through it, and you'll get a lovely warm so feel to the image. Should take a plastic band or something? With your <coughs> no. Put it in front of it. Or well, something? you could do, couldn't you? You can put. A, Last band around it, yeah. but as long as it doesn't interfere with your lens. Yeah. Now, I think on mobile phones, unfortunately, the flash is where the lens is. Yeah, it isn't it? So I don't think it's going to work in that respect. Oh. Otherwise, all you can get is that <laughs> you can just get a white, <laughs> white piece of paper in front. Yeah, that's a lovely photo, Ian. And everyone will be going, oh yeah, brilliant, man. Well done, Ian. Awesome. Well, so it only really works with uh, these point and shoot cameras, if you like, when when you've got pop up flash mm -hmm. or whatever. So you, you pop up flash, so that put that in front of it, 
take the picture and you'll be amazed what image you get. You get a really nice, nice diffused flash as opposed to that harsh white blown out flash that you get. Try it, it's really good. Third one, my third little hack, if you like, is how many people have loads of them? Do you have loads of them yeah. hanging around? Yeah? Yeah. I have loads of them hanging around. You know what they're for. Don't you? Okie <laughs> <laughs> dokie. <laughs> right, this particular one is from the front of your front of your camera. Okay. So yeah. your sensor cap, if you like. And obviously that is the back of your lens. Lenses, yeah. So I, I, I've somehow accumulated quite a few of these. So, what do they become? Holders. Little holders for SD cards, uh, your, your, you know, your USB memory sticks, uh, anything really. So that's what I use them for. So very clever way. Put them on your desk, job done. Lovely old job. job. You know, don't lose them, do you? So that's the third one. Ah. And your fourth and fifth one, we're going to do on Case to Beach. All right? So, let's go. Indeed. <laughs> nice guy. So uh, here we are at Caster Beach. Uh, we parked in the car park there and um, you've got these lovely, lovely uh, Caster lifeboat houses here and uh, saving plenty of lives in their life, I can tell you. But uh, anyway, we're off onto the beach now. It's looking a lovely morning, actually. The mo beautiful morning, actually. It's really turning out quite nice. You never know what you're gonna get on a lovely, morning when you come out you wake up first thing in the morning it's six o'clock blurry eyed you look outside it's pitch black and you just think hmm I wonder now yesterday all day it was raining so the chances are after a big rainfall like that hopefully you you tend to get some sort of nice morning the next morning what I can see over there is some color and some bright sky and there's a slither of cloudlessness going on in the sky there just where the sun's going to come up so see you on the beach yeah glorious morning glorious morning isn't it, richard beautiful absolutely and you noticed i've uh, we've got a leading line here already fantastic yeah again, Tract tractor lines you don't know how you do it do you? i don't know how i do it i really don't you are a so, leading line specialist Sh should we go and get this lovely sunrise this yes. morning? Okay, so for this shot, well, what, I'm, what I'm planning on doing is uh, getting a couple of filters on. I want to get on a polarizer. So polarizer on first. Then I want to calm the sky down a bit. So I've got to get the horizon level first. So let's have a look at the info on the ESR. The ESR will give me the info here. So what I'm doing is getting the grasses in and what we've got here is, is the uh, horizontal line there on the EOS R and we want that to be touching on green. Um, what I want to do though is bring out the colours that are out there already. I want to put on a two-stop half graduated filter. That's the filter cleaned. So now that can go in nearest, well actually second out to the lens because 
I may choose in a little while to do a long exposure. And if that's the case, I'll need the slot closest to the lens for that. We are on manual mode and you can see here the histogram is not touching either side. Uh, I just want to bring that down a touch. Now that's a nice feel to it. So what we've got, we've got the grass is in the foreground. Now we also want to get our three point focusing right as well. So bring that down to the grasses here. Now the sky looks quite nice and so do the grasses. It is a beautiful morning this morning, I must say. So this is my composition just for now on the grasses. I'm going to take that shot actually, the people. It is a four second shot, so they'll probably be blurred, which they are. So I've got it on, just bring the info up again. I've got F11 and my ISO is very low, so I'm going to bring that up to 100 just by touch screen. So that brings my shutter speed down a bit more. So we're at, we're at two and a half inches there. So two and a half inches is, is our exposure time, okay? I am only kidding, I promise you. It is two and a half seconds exposure time with F11 and and we want to be focused on these uh, pieces here so what we've got to do is just bring that in and we're talking about focus peaking here now have you noticed how yellow that goes so I've got it on yellow focus peaking so what what happens is you go out of focus bring it in bring it in bring it in and it's in focus right so with this tilt shift lens we can get front to back focusing even with the three points there now I can go up to that section here which is uh, the, the the sea now I'm not so sure Ooh, that that's focusing see so it's not always good to rely on ah now we've got somewhere so what we've got to do is fixate on something that's got high contrast something like um, sticks in the uh, in the in the background there however even that doesn't really work so what I kind of do is make sure we've got the foreground set and as you can see here it is and you can see all the yellow so if I go out of focus that yellow will just turn blur okay and that's how it works that's focus peaking so now we take the shot And there you have it. So everything in that shot will be sharp front to back. Okay. And as you can see, it is. All right. So that's how you use focus peaking on a shot. So what I want to do is get on the beach now and look at these zigzags and try and get composition before the sun finally rises. Yeah, it's, it's not an easy one today, is it? No. Um, because the, the, the tides, although the tide's coming in, it's probably not coming in quick enough. And it is now four minutes to eight and the sun rises at eight. You notice earlier on that the green triangle wouldn't focus in the distance. Now there's a reason for that. It was quite dark this morning. The beauty about this focus peaking is that it will focus and it will turn yellow where it's focused. So that gives you an indicator of what is sharp and what isn't, okay? Over and above the green triangle. So if the green triangle doesn't work for you because it's too dark, then focus peaking will work for you. So what, what I'm trying to aim for is just bring that over a touch more actually on the composition there. So that's almost, almost to the side. So what we're getting is a nice simple composition. And that's what we're doing, we're getting a nice simple composition. As you can see right here, 
the focus peaking is working really well. I can see where it's focused, where it's not. Um, and it is it's all focused front to back. So that's how I've got it set up this morning. Now that sun's coming out really beautifully now, so I'm just going to take another shot. Put all things aside. And what we got is a lovely, lovely sedate beach and sedate sea this morning. There's hardly any waves at all. That really is beautiful. Look at that. That's what you wake up for. That is what we hope for. When we get up in the morning, we really hope for that scene. So we're nice and, nice and low on this uh, composition. Uh, not too low, but it's just right, just the right height. And we're getting, the, we're getting, we're getting basically, we're getting one third of the sky in and we're getting three quarters of the, the, the ground in. And uh, that, that seems to be quite a nice composition. And I'm gonna get the 10, stop, ten stopper out. Ooh, if I can find it. And we're going to go with a nice long shot. Look at the exposure. Oh, I'm going to go down to about f8. I know everything's going to be still sharp front to back. Now f8 will give me one fifth of a second. One fifth of a second tends to give me, well, we're going to go ISO 100 for this. Okay. And that give me one tenth of a second. One tenth of a second give me about two minutes roughly with a 10 stop on that now, now that's just from experience but i could use an app here but from experience i know it's going to be about two minutes so i've got to find bold mode where's bold mode now i did one yeah bold mode right so bold mode f8 make sure you put it on f8 and make sure it's on iso 100 and take the shot so we're going to take a shot. That's going to be about two minutes. So we're at two minutes and 20 seconds there. So I might have overdone it, but I haven't overdone it. Wow, look at that for a photo, man. Do another one while we talk. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Long exposure. Come. Well, I'm, I'm doing another one actually, which is another long. So exposure. you didn't see it, did you, Pa? <laughs> you like your long exposure. Oh, I love long exposures. Now let's talk about hacks, shall we, Richard? Let's talk about hacks. Hacks. Yeah, baby. So. How to save money hacks. How to save money hacks. Right. What we've got here is a shower cap. This is something that we, like we said, we would have loved to have in the Lake District. And we didn't, did we? Put it on. Yeah, put it on the beanie. No, 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 no. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've got an idea. <laughs> so, you put that on there like that. Oh, it's right. fucking cold. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and if we do, if we, we see, look, look, we can have berry. Oh, yeah. Right. So if you look at the camera, we've got a berry. So could you? <laughs> I could put the pot noodle. I think that's pretty good actually. How much was it? Uh, what for that? Yeah. Well, you got ten of them in a in a in a bag. Ten and uh, five quick. Got mine. I got a pink one on. I got. You could have um. You could have a cap front like uh like I've got. You know those. Well, like a drip thing. No, like um, Peaky Blinders look. Oh yeah. Look look. There you go. Well, look, at the look at the camera now. Governor. All right, Governor. Peaky <laughs> blinders. Peaky blinders. <laughs> See, so many hacks all in one. Yeah. In all seriousness, that sh we should have had them. I know we should have. But we got them now. We have. So let's show you what it actually does. That is what a shower cap does. Okay. And now that, that will keep your camera and your lens nice and dry. Yeah. Other than the front, of course. But. Can't the front cover that thing? No. 
but you can still see your LCD screen. Okay, so you can get to all your buttons. You can actually pull that up a little bit out of the rain if you want to and just adjust where you want to. But at least you can see your back screen there. Everything's covered up nicely. Works a treat, doesn't it? So that's hack one. Yeah. Hack two. There you go. There is Richard's pot noodle pots. And he's sand shit. And <laughs> now we've got the tie coming in, as you can see. And it's not going to sink, is it? Ah, yes, look, he's got pebbles in it. Okay, very good. I was watching someone on YouTube so, the other day, YouTube vlog. Yeah. They were complaining about their tie pot kept sinking the tie coming. Okay, well, you've, you've now cracked it. cracked it, haven't you? Brilliant. So that, that, is, that is cool beans, eh, isn't it? So, they are our hacks for today. We get